the walls are broken down. What this means is that there is no safety. There's no security. That, that uh, you know, the, the walls in that day and age, they represent the idea of sovereignty over their, over their land. And in those days, marauders and bandits would just kind of go through the land and take whatever they wanted and kill whoever they felt like. There was no rule of law overseeing a, a nation that way that was not established with walls and barriers that way. And so here, the, the people, they have no walls. The walls are broken. They're destroyed. They're broken down. And, and so he says, uh, you know, th th this is a, a bad thing, that the walls are broken down. Essentially, the walls are necessary for safety and security because everything that is bad can flow right into the city, and everything that is good can be let right out. The walls are there to establish that safety and security that we need. And so too it is that those walls represent a lot more than just those walls because Proverbs 25, 28 says this, a person without self-control is like a city broken down without walls. You see, the, the, the idea that is being brought here for us in Proverbs is that just like a city then that has no walls, no safety, no security, all the good stuff is flowing out, all the bad stuff is flowing in, so too our lives reflect a city like that when we lack self-control. 